Hey everybody, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? Well, I'm going to try to attempt to tackle the uh, the subject of finesse fishing, and really this this is, this video could be like five different videos, which it probably will be because when you think of finesse fishing, there's lots of different styles and techniques you can use. I'm not going to dive too deep down into like drop shotting right now because I think that video really could just be a video upon itself. But I'm just gonna just show you some of the finesse baits I like to use, some of the jig heads I like to use. And as I said, there's so many different um, sections of finesse fishing that I was kind of even getting overwhelmed when I was going through some of my stuff. Because I was looking at it and going, well, I guess in the cat category of finesse fishing, this could be there, or this could be there, or that could be there. So I just pulled out a bunch of stuff and I'm gonna just do an overview of what I got here. And this will probably take a while and show you the things I like to do when I'm, you know, forced to finesse fish, because you know I love to throw a jig and power fish, but there are times when it's the way to go. But let me just show you a few of the things I have. And like I said, as I go through this, <clears throat> I'm sure I'm going to come up with like a technique or a style of fishing that we could do just a video on that. We could do just a video on drop shot fishing. We can just do a video on finesse, more finesse um, jig fishing, finesse, you know, jerk baiting, finesse crank baiting. Um, everything. Throwing a flick shake, throwing a Demiki rig. There, there's so many different sections of finesse fishing that I'm going to try to keep this as basic as possible with what I've got here, which is a lot. <laughs> if you guys could see what's sitting here on the table. Um, but I'll just kind of show you some of the finesse baits I like to use and and then we'll go from there. And as I said, as I go through this. If you say something uh, that I say or the bait I show and you'd like to see more on that or a specific video on that, I'd be more than happy to do it, okay? So I think probably... In 2023, and the last few years, the most finessey thing I've done, and probably most people have done, is thrown a Ned Rig. And this is just that, you know, that Somatis Baits hollow tip worm has become one of my favorite uh, Ned Baits in the last few years. Uh, it's just a great bait. And for you guys who have never, if you don't know what a, what a Ned Rig is, it's, it's probably the simplest fishing you could do. It's just a jig head. <clears throat> it's just like a mushroom jig head, which we, you know, all look consider like Neds now. Now this has been around forever. People throwing mushroom heads and soft plastics. But, you know, any brand you want to use, that's one there. This is a Somatis Baits hollow tip worm. Got a couple packs of them right here. You guys have seen me do videos on these before. Great baits, great colors. This is just a couple I'm going to show you. As I show you this stuff, I'm going to move it, so I've got more room here. But it doesn't get any more simple than that. So if you're new to bass fishing and you're new to finesse fishing, start with a net. It doesn't get any easier. Simple net head. I think this is probably like a quarter ounce or a three sixteenths ounce. You take your net bait of whatever kind you want to use. There's a million different brands out there now. And just oh, that was a lousy, lousy rigging job. And you take it and you throw it out and you just drag it around, <laughs> drag it around. It doesn't get any easier than that. So I would say probably the most popular, the one I do the most nowadays, um, but it all depends on the day of the week or where I'm fishing too. But the net is probably number one right now for a lot of people. And just to show you some of the net baits I have out here, just so I can make some room that I like to use. Uh, Jason, the Crazy Hick Bait Company, makes some great Neds. I like to use his a lot. Just a few colors I pulled out to show you. Order them online. When you see them at the shows this winter, you can grab some. But one of my one of my favorite Ned baits that I use a lot. Uh, let's see what else do I have here that's Ned wise. Whoops. You guys know I love the old tech baits, the old classic tech baits that uh, Eric used to make that Pete from Stoneman and Sun Lures is making now. <clears throat> These are all great. Use them all the time. Love them. As I'm dropping stuff on the floor here. Um, just some other brands that I happen to pull down. <clears throat> Robo Worm makes a nice Ned. They're three inch Ned. They have a lot of cool colors. There are, everybody makes a Ned right now, whichever one you like to, to throw. If you like the Yum version or the Strike King version or, you know, the Berkeley Max Scent version, I throw a lot. They're all good. They're all good. They're all very dissimilar. Uh, let's see. 
something that's kind of a Ned bait. If you guys have ever uh, been on, you guys have seen me do videos before. If you've ever seen Bounty Hunter custom baits, they make the Versa worm, which I guess you could say is like, it's it's a Ned bait. I throw it as a Ned. You could drop shot it too, but they have some, you know, some different sizes, some cool colors. I like to throw these a lot. Here's the mini Versa worm. That's a three inch bait. I think this, I think the bigger size is a four inch. I think that's a four and I think that's a th the mini is a three. But just a couple, I like that black and chartreuse tail. And that black and brown, I like that's a black and orange, or brown and orange. I love those. Those are great. Uh, let's see, any other Neds that I have out here? There's just another another pack of the Versa Worm from Bounty Hunter Custom Base. Check them out online or on Instagram. I don't know if the website is up. Last time I checked, it wasn't. Uh, let's see, as far as Ned type baits go, and, you know, speaking of finesse, a company that has gotten very popular the last few years, <clears throat> I like a lot of their stuff, is Great Lakes Finesse. So you know it's going to be finesse. It's got finesse right in the name of the company. But they're, um, they're two, two point, they're, these are like ultra finesse. They're 2.1 inch snack crawl. You guys have seen some pictures online catching some huge smallmouth on these. Their drop shot minnow is a great finesse bait. The 2.2 the, uh, inch uh, flat cat, another bait you could drop shot or throw on a Ned head. They have their, their, their finesse underspins. So if you want to, oops, I'm showing you that right now. Yeah. They have, so Great Lakes Finesse is a, is a really, has marketed themselves as a finesse company. And if you guys follow them online, uh, you know, just a lot of great pictures of some really awesome fish they've caught the last few years using their baits. Now there are other baits that may not be necessarily classified as Ned baits, but I like to throw on a Ned head. Like, um, Let's see. These, uh, the little spiders from Kitek are very popular finesse baits. Three inch, three and a half inch, and I do have a new version of this that's come out. I haven't gotten yet. When I do, I'll show you. It's a little Tackle and Field sticker on there. Um, I know a lot of guys who, <laughs> who've won a lot of money on these over the years. Um, the Helgies are great on a Ned head. Especially if you got elder mites crawling around on the bottom of the lake and you're throwing these around on a net head. These can be very, very deadly. This is just a Lunker City version. There's a lot of versions out there on the Helgies. Uh, Lunker City also makes this Ripster, which is like a <clears throat> like a, a Ned type bait or a drop shot type bait. That's just the three inch version. I have a four inch too that I've got. I don't know if I have any on the table. But that's another nice finesse Ned like bait. Oh, uh, let's see. What else do I got here? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, I have a few of these out here. Oh, here we go. Fresh Baits has like their, their, it's like a, their, their Helgi type bait, the Ned type bait. If you guys have never seen these before, they're, they're great too. If you want it, if everybody's throwing a regular Ned, and you throw this guy. It might be the difference between getting a bite and not getting a bite. So all really cool finesse baits that any Ned head you like to use, any mushroom type head you want to throw. These baits all work great on there. They all work great. Um, let me see, let me see. Oh, the recent video I did on the Fit Premium Lures, the Chili Willy, the old Al Winco baits. These are very good finesse baits on a Ned head. However you want to throw it, you can drop shot it. I tend to throw these more on a Ned. You know, there's no, no limit to what you can do. Um, when I look at um, some of these other baits, some of these are probably more considered drop shot baits, but there's a lot of drop shot baits that are very good on Ned heads. Um, these Magic Flicks from Beast Coast are great drop shot baits, but they are killer, killer on a Ned head. There's just a few of those to show you. Another good option right there. Um, you guys have thrown these um, these bubbling shakers from Rains. They're very cool. You can throw them on a drop. I tend to drop shot these more than throw them on a Ned. The plastic's a little soft. I think it definitely plays better as a drop shot bait. But a great finesse bait. Very soft, really cool colors from those Rains baits. Uh, oh, geez, moving the kit right out of the way. Sorry about that. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, let's see, where next? I don't know. I've got so many options here. If you guys, uh, some more baits that might consider be more drop shot type baits. I would not ned these. I just think they're too too thin. But these um, these leeches from Kai Tech are very cool. That custom leech. Very cool finesse bait. I, I tend to drop shot these. But they're very cool too. If you want to get into like throwing like a Demiki rig, that armor shad on the Demiki rig. And I'll show you some of the hooks that I use for some of these, you know, as we go along here. The smaller swim baits, like the three and a half inch swing impact, if you want to do some finesse swim baiting with just like a jig head, the three and the four inch swing impact is a great way to go. Catch a lot of fish on those, a lot of fish. Just, um, and you know, throwing a swim bait, you can just throw a grub and just swim a grub. And this grubster from Lunker City is really good. Looks great in the water, great tail action. This is uh, 2.75 inch size. When they're eating small bait, swim this around, you catch some bass. That's a really nice option there if you want to do some finesse like swim bait type fishing. Uh, let's see. These uh, tiny flukes, like on a scrounger head, a small scrounger head, or even the, the fluke junior on a, a, a finesse, a small scrounger head, they can be they can be very very productive when the fish are eating small bait. I thought I had some more of those out here, but I don't see them. I might find them as I dig through this <laughs> this mess on the table. But those tiny flukes and those small fluke juniors on like a scrounger head or a ball head can be a good option too. Probably, well, let me don't. I don't want to. When I get to the hooks, I'll show that. Oh, speaking of finesse swim baits, I cannot forget the Mega Bass, the Hasdong Shad, small ball head, drop shot, three inch bait. They have a four inch two. I think it's only a three and a four. I don't know if they make a. I don't remember if there's a five. I don't think there's a five. The Hasdong. But as you guys have seen in my recent videos. Now I'm only I only pulled out the three inch size, but the spark shad for your finesse finesse swim bait fishing, hard to beat the the spark shad. I just pulled those two out a minute ago. So I was saying if I'm going to talk about finesse, <laughs> I can't leave those two off the list. Uh, let's see. Um, probably let me get this over here. Another as um, in addition to like throwing a Ned, throwing a drop shot. The finesse technique that I've really started to do a lot this year is with, you know, core tackle and their hover rig. I don't know if you guys can see that, but you guys have seen the hover rig. Actually, I'm even have to show you the box. I think I've got one here. That hover rig that I've shown you guys, you can check my other videos out. And I'm sure probably this winter I, I'll do an updated hover rig video with just some of the new baits I've discovered I want to try next season on it. But the hover rig has been a very, very productive finesse technique for me since this has become a thing, since Cortacle's come out with this hook. Um, and that's just on that, that swing impact, I believe that is from the Kitech there. I think I got some right out here. And you can, you can throw them. Here's the four inch size you can use. Here's that six inch size. So the swing impact on the on the hover rig, killer finesse technique, killer. Highly recommend it. The rest of these, let me just see if there's different categories before I move on to just some finesse worms and things. Okay. I know we talked about tubes. Oops. Talked about ways of throwing finesse tubes. And these 2.75 inch um, Straight King Bitsy tubes can be killer. And you can just throw them on a net head. Great Lakes Finesse has their internal um, finesse tube head that would probably fit these very well too. I haven't used those yet, but I, I definitely will. If you want that internal hook or internal, you know, weighted hook for your, you know, your typical tube weight. But these just work great on a net. So finesse tubing with that, that 2.75 inch tube of whatever brand. I just happen to have the, the uh, Strike King. As far as craws go, 
<clears throat> as far as crows go and finesse goes, like that Kai Tech, it's hard to beat the Cabin Creek. If you've never thrown the Cabin Creek, uh, you know, the, the salty spiders before, these can be very, very effective. Very effective. Cold water fishing, <clears throat> when it's tough out there. And they have a ton of different colors. And they just come with... You know, and use whatever jig head you choose. Come with their little skirt part. I mean, I could do a video just on the cabin creeks. And there's your craw part. Your, you just put these over your jig head of your choice. And these are very, very effective. Very, very effective. When I'm fishing in the springtime, I always have a few bags of the cabin creeks in my boat. Because they just work. <clears throat> I think I need a drink. All right, I think as far as the rest of what I have here is more worm type finesse. And when I always think of finesse, kind of the first thing I think of is worms. And probably the number one finesse worm I've used, and I don't throw as much as I used to, but when I first got into fishing way back in the day, I don't know if there was anything more popular than just a slider worm. And this, uh, I don't know if these are the five inches or the four. This is the four, the, the four inch slider worm. You can take anywhere, I would say, in this country <laughs> or anywhere and go bass fishing and catch fish. That's just the black one. I think I took some, yeah. This is the classic spider head. This is more of their pro head, which I use on the, uh, which I'll show you how I rig up on a, on a, uh, trick worm but this here is the classic slider head right here 3 16 ounce maybe sometimes a quarter maybe sometimes an eighth but that 3 16 was always the bread and butter and just throwing this around it doesn't get any more simple a weedless four inch worm on that slider head Throwing around any lake you go to, I bet you you catch fish. It doesn't get any more finessey than that. It doesn't get any simpler than that. But the slider head with the slider worm, hard to beat. Hard to beat. If you're having a tough day, you can't get bit. You got these on the boat. Take them out there and throw them around, and you'll probably catch something at least. You will salvage the day for sure. But you could probably say that about any of these finesse techniques. But the slider worm is really hard to beat. They also have it in the three inch, which is considered more, I think, of a drop shot bait. They can, they, I think that's what they call it. But you could throw it on a small head. I would tend to drop shot these. I love that black with the chartreuse tail. That purple is always good. Black cherry. Some of the newer ones. See, these are, these are some of the newer ones I've gotten. That smoke blue gill break. But the slider worm is is a great one, it's a great one. Slider also makes a lot of stuff. I even pulled out, Slider even has like their own, their own four inch slider tube, which these are pretty good. I haven't used these in a, in a few years, but when I did back in the day, you can use them with that slider head. You can get one of those internal heads, those small finessey ones. But they have a nice little compact tube, that slider tube, it's nice. It's definitely nice. Got the little eyeballs on there, little, little legs, got the claws. These are good tubes, these slider tubes. I think the one I use the most, <clears throat> this is the, you tell it's the oldest pack. Those are newer packs. This green pumpkin one back in the day when I lived in Jersey on the reservoirs, I catch a lot of fish on these, a lot of fish. And I always put a little orange on the claws, but lots of ways you could put that on a net head, put it on a slider head. Another finesse tube option, if you're interested. Uh, let's see, where to go to next? I showed you those. Probably one of the most popular, to go along with the other stuff that I've shown you, is just the regular old Zoom finesse worm. 
I showed you the trick worm the other day on that on that on that video, but I didn't show you the the smaller finesse worm. Much like the slider, it's hard to really go much more finessey than this. And you know, I could throw this on a shaky head, on a net head. I mean, I could throw it on this slider head. It's real. It's all the same concept. You know, your hook and your weight are just. Just whatever it is you're using to get that bait down there by the fish. So if I decide to put it on this slider head, it's going to work really good. That's just the, 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 the zoom finesse worm. And I don't know if that's a 4-inch or a 5-inch. It seems to be a little bigger than a 4. That's probably a 5. <clears throat> on a slider head. Much like just the slider worm, but it isn't that much difference. They're very similar type of worms. It's a great combo. A great combo. And I know some, uh, one of my subscribers had mentioned, uh, you know, fishing on a budget. If I do get to that video, a lot of these same baits will be in there because these worms are, are very inexpensive <coughs> for a good size pack. <coughs> I mean, it's a zoom, you usually get a 20 pack. So just pulled out a few colors. That's that green pumpkin chartreuse. The kiwi color is pretty cool. Similar to the kiwi is that bullfrog color. I just pulled a few off the shelf to show you quick. June bug with a chartreuse tail, very good. Like a pack, like a pack on a fisherman. That June bug with a chartreuse tail. Net bait, they also have their finesse five inch worm, which I've caught fish on. Similar to the trick worm, or the, uh, the finesse worm from Zoom, very similar. There's their blue black chartreuse flake. It's pretty cool. What that looks like outside the pack. Now, like I said, I could do a video just on just on these finesse worms. So as I said, if I go past something that you guys see and I only kind of touch on it, and you'd like to see a full-length video, let me know. No problem doing it. Winter's coming. <laughs> I need ideas. <laughs> uh, here's another. Here's that uh, the Magna finesse worm that Zoom makes. you know, beef up your finesse fishing a little bit. Just a little bigger body worm, but still a finesse worm. Any head you want to throw it on, it'll work. A lot of times I like these, uh, what do I want to do with that slider head? This original, oh, that was, that was, that would need some, yeah, must have been in the boat, it's a little rusty. The original slider head <clears throat> with just this flat jig head type. These are great on finite zoom worms. And I just just go all the way through. Get to like the egg sac area. And now you're in an open got an open hook, so you might hang up a little bit, but I'm telling you, this setup right here on the trick worm, on this worm, that five inch worm, is deadly. It is deadly. Especially that color black, you cannot go wrong. Deadly, deadly technique. So that is the Zoom Magnum Finesse Worm right there. Another great option. Oh, let's see. Now I did show you guys, I know the other video, I showed you the Trick Worm. Finesse Fishing. The trick Worm is a great way to go. You know I love the black one. Any kind of a green pumpkin one that they have. Zoom has a ton of colors. If I was going to pick one, as I told them, said in that other video, that black grape, that was my go-to. Uh, let's see. I also have a couple other finessey things here to show you. Let's say you want to throw like a beaver style bait. <clears throat> um, Reaction Innovations. Unfortunately, Culprit does not make this the water beetle anymore. But there's a lot of companies that have a three-inch version of their beaver style bait. And you can just throw these on. Let's see if I got a net out here or just a regular jig head. Yeah, I'll just use this regular, this regular shaky head. You can just throw these. Actually, that, that hook might be a little big. Go something a little smaller. Here's one of those Kitex. It's a little smaller. I don't want too big of a... And just cinch it on there. Keep it 
straight, not like what I'm doing. But if you just take these little tiny crawfish type beaver style baits with just a jig header, that's that Kai Tech jig head that I like, that, that tungsten one, and bounce these around the bottom, you're gonna get bit. You're gonna get bit. Now I tend to throw these type of baits more now on that core tackle, that hover rig, and that tush swim bait head. But these are great too. So that finesse, now it's just a, <clears throat> it's a, just a three inch culprit water beetle, which I wish they still made. I don't know how many times you guys have to hear me say that. But another finesse option for you right there. Uh, and I got just a couple more worms here. I guess you have to talk about the old Senko. So a four inch Senko, a three inch Senko on a Ned wacky rig. I mean, I'm sure guys were probably yelling at the video <laughs> saying, where are you gonna talk about a Senko? That's like the most finesse fishing I do. <laughs> there you go. I don't do that that much, but uh, I know there's guys that love that, love it. But uh, as far as finesse worms go, Bass Pro has a nice, uh, <clears throat> their finesse finicky worm is a nice worm. This is the candy bug one. They have a lot of nice colors. It's a good worm. It's much like the trick worm. It's like their version, Bass Pro's version of the trick worm. It just has a little bigger, bigger tail, but I throw these every now and then. They're good. They work great. If you're looking for a different brand. Finesse fishing is probably the least or the more economical way to fish too, which if I ever do that bait, you know, a video on budget fishing, I'll, that'll, we'll talk about that again, that, that, that subject again. But these baits tend to be, you get, a, you know, 20 packs, you're not spending as much money, you can get a decent amount and, uh, and go fishing. And the last thing I'll show you before I just show you some of the other things I have in the boxes and some of the, the hookups. Um, I haven't done it much in recent years, uh, is throwing a flick shake. And these flick shake worms work very well. I just haven't done it lately. It seems like when it first came out, I did it a lot. <clears throat> I caught fish with it, I just have kind of gotten away from it. Now I guess I throw a Ned more or other things. But really a flick shake is just like, it's just a wacky, wacky setup with just a weighted, you know, the, the hook is actually weighted that you use. But it's great, especially when the fish are starting to move up in the springtime. The, uh, the flick shake works great. I could do a video just on the flick shake. That's why I'm not going into it too deep here, and I only pulled out one pack. Because I have a lot of work, a lot of flick shake type of flick, flick shake worms. All right. So that's some of the baits. It's a lot of the baits. Need another drink. Okay, let me just see what I have here to show you guys. Um, that's just some of the finesse hooks. I don't really need those right now. Zoom finesse worms. I can just show you what I have in the boxes here. I'm not gonna pull these out. <laughs> Zoom finesse worms. Just see if there's anything different here that I did not show you already. More zoom finesse worms. Lots of different colors. For a while, back in the day, I that was this was what I was doing every day when I would fish. I was throwing finesse worms. Those finicky ticklers from from. Uh, <clears throat> Power team, they're great. I showed you those guys, those ones the other day. I'll show you the, the five inch size here. <clears throat> it's that five inch finicky tickler, with lots of great colors. Really good worm. Some power team lures, if you're interested in that one. Let's see what I got over here. This is that core, the core tackle. I showed you the hover rigs. Um, a great finesse worm. Didn't really show you and this is a drop shot worm this is the robo worm i use this for drop shotting pretty much primarily too thin for a ned but a great drop shot option some different sizes some different colors you guys can see that that's the robo worm great option let's see what else i got here that might interest you guys uh here's something old school which I don't know if they still make, but when I lived in Jersey, they used to have these things called the Jersey rig. So you Jersey guys will appreciate this. And really, that's it. I guess this is a three and a half inch. Maybe I don't think that's quite four. Let's see. I don't remember what the 
It's a three in Senko. So it's, I'm gonna say it's about three and a half. So let's say it's three and a half. I don't, I don't know that for a fact, I'm gonna guess. <clears throat> <coughs> but three and a half inch just plastic and guys used to just wacky rig these and just slam them and I could take this out and go fishing and I'm sure I would catch a lot of fish because it works I don't know if the Jersey rig is still made I'm sure somebody has it but you know with all the soft plastics that are out there I'm sure there's something that's very similar to this it's really just like the old this is like the old french fry I don't know if these were, I don't know, remember who made these. I don't know if these were Riverside. Oh, this is a Zoom. This one's a Zoom. It says Zoom on there. The old French fry. Some of these might say the names of the company. I don't know. But it's the same idea. That old French fry, just that three inch, three and a half inch soft plastic <clears throat> straight worm that you can throw on a, you know, wacky it. Throw it on a, on, a, on a jig head. I mean, you could throw this on a Ned head. You know, I kind of like that. You know, they're good for drop shotting. You can just wacky. Wacky hook them for drop shotting. They, they work great. Man, like some of these, I don't remember who made these. These are just different ones. I just pulled this box out because it's kind of a finesse box. Riverside Air Fry. I don't think that's made anymore. I don't think Riverside exists. Didn't Riverside become young? I think. I can't remember. <clears throat> Another French fry type. So anything like that. All those small little baits, wacky rigging them. You'll catch fish. You will catch fish. Uh, let's see, is there anything else here in the boxes I want to show you guys before I just show you a few rigging things and then this video that's already 32 minutes long, we can try to keep it under 45. <laughs> this box, I just say drop shot and finesse baits. And what it's got in it is just some of these missile baits, these drop, these drop like craw things that missile baits makes. Just some Berkeley four inch worms. Some other finesse worms in here. So any, any of these, these are Yamamoto's. That's more of a curly tail, but it's still a finesse worm. Throw that on any kind of a drop shot. It's a little finesse worm there, if you guys can see it good. But that just, you know, if you're going to go out and drop shot through the day or throw neds, you have just some different worm styles you want to throw. Is that not going in there? Just, you can put a kit together and go fishing all day. And when it's tough out, this can be the way to go. This can be the way to go. Let me see if there's any... I did pull these out. I didn't show you this size bait before. As far as just kind of backtrack to finesse swim bait fishing this is the 2.8 kai tech and as you can see that's a tiny tiny bait in the fall especially the bait is very small so these small swim baits can really be killer when that bait is small so you can put this on that little kai tech ball head drop shot it but sometimes these 2.8s can really fill the boat for you even this time of the year throw this on a you're throwing that beast coast around that open water sniper use this as your trailer that 2.8 kai tech that black one is really good but these 2.8 kai techs i pulled that out because i wanted to show you really really great finesse baits really great finesse baits <clears throat> And those are just worms. Those are kind of bigger worms, so I don't think you guys, you've seen enough worms already. Um, but that's a lot of baits. That's a lot of options. It's probably sensory overload for you guys. Um, but let me just show you, I'll just show you quick a couple of rigging things that I have here. I already showed you the Ned. Everybody knows how to throw a Ned pretty much nowadays. If you, ha if you, if you haven't thrown a Ned, start with that. Let's say, okay, I wanna go finesse fishing. Start with your nids. That's a good way to start. It's simple, it's an easy way to fish. Get your six pound to eight pound floral. You probably don't even need eight. On your spinning setup, nice six and a half to seven foot medium rod. Your six to eight pound fluoro. I just prefer fluoro. if you wanna use mono, whatever. And go throw these around. And you know it's an open hook. 
you're going to lose them here and there, but that's okay. You got to get the bat, the, the bait down there with a fisher lily, and start there. Start with your, with your 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 uh, your Ned, and you, you're really be in good shape. Um, if my second option probably would be one of these zoom finesse worms, either the either the trick worm. And as I said, when I throw, well, this one looks like it's been <laughs> taken on and off the hook a few times. When I throw this black purple one, I like to throw it on this type of slider head, that flat one. So it just gives it a nice motion in the water. And when I throw it on there, I just cinch it on down. I should probably use a better worm than this one. This one's a little torn up. Yeah, I'm going to use a new worm. This one's seen better days. But I like this slider head on these. And as I said, any type of jig head you like to use, you know, use it. I just happen to like this one. But I just kind of, I just run that all the way down. And that is a killer combo right there. That zoom trick worm with that slider head, very popular, very effective. The black, the black and gray, the black purple one, a green pumpkin of your choice is all you need. Get a couple bags of these, get some slider heads like that, or whatever jig head you like. You can use that Kitek. If you if you have to use tungsten, <clears throat> use that. I like this guy right here. And it catches fish. It just catches fish. Um, the same with those those five inch worms or the, uh, that five inch zoom. Thing I swarm. Throw it on a shaky head. Throw it on that slider like I showed you before. You could throw it on a net. This will work on a net. Why not? It'll work. Now that's a that's kind of a big net head. I would, <laughs> I would want a bigger bait, bait for that. That's a little thin for that. I would tend to stick with these with that uh, what do I do with that slider head I showed you this before I would tend to stick with those with the slider head I just think it's I just think it you don't want to overwhelm the bait with the hook and the weight because now I get a little torn up but I showed you that before oh let's go I had it backwards that's why it would help if I put it on straight. But it's hard to go wrong with the slider head. And that, that's the, I guess maybe the finesse part is the bait, but it's also the hook too. It's also the jig head. That's what makes it finessey. Any of these, ouch, slider heads, um, these shaky head types with the ball head, or the football head that you like, they're all good. They're all good. So I think that's really it. There's one. You know what? There's one. Other, I did pull. I mentioned the Demiki rig before. It's not something. I know a lot of guys who like to do it. I have not done it a lot. Now would be the time of the year to do it. But this is actually a Demiki head. And so when you found those, you see those fish on your on your graph. You see them maybe suspending. This is really a suspending bass, you know, technique. You can get one of these Demiki armor shads or whatever swim bait you want to use. And just put those on, put that on there. Let's see how far I want to go down here. Yeah, that should be good enough. If that's far enough, and it's a little, a little crooked, but not too bad. And it just looks like a little minnow. Just get it down to that that uh, that level you want it. That Okashira shad or o o o Okashira head from Mega Bass is really good. It's the same idea. You can get the ones with little blades on it. and get these. I, as I said, I did not take everything out that I could show you. We could just do a video just on 
a Daniki rig. We can just do a video on that. We can just do a video on drop shotting, a video on the five inch zoom worm. The trick, I could do a vid, we could do a video right just on the trick worm. There's just so many options. So like I said, if you guys see something you want to see more in depth, you just let me know. Gives me good ideas of what to do. But that Daniki rig is a really interesting um, finesse technique that I have not mastered yet. I haven't done it a lot. But there's guys I know that love it, love it. And I, I know why I took those worms out. <clears throat> I did want to show you one thing. If you want to do something that might be considered a little more finesse worming, I'm not sure. I'm going to assume I showed you guys that Joby rig. This is the enticer version from Bass Pro. These might still be available. And I'm sure there's somebody that has them. This is just a, maybe you could call it a more finesse way of throwing your worms because your jig head and your hook are all one thing. They're all one body. And this just makes it a little more compact. So I'm just gonna pull out one of these Charlie worms, which is a, a worm I like. <clears throat> and I used to use these on tubes a lot in the past. I just haven't done it in recent years. But surprisingly, I like the grape one. <laughs> but if you're gonna just throw a regular, you know, a seven inch worm, which is still pretty finessey. You know, I always consider worm fishing pretty finessey. We're not, you know, I guess if you're just popping this into the weeds, it's kind of finessey. But these Joby type rigs or worm heads, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they call them on here. Let's see what they call them. They just call them Enticer, the perfect worm rig. The perfect worm rig is what Bass Pro is. So you have to check and see if they still make them. I, if they don't, I'm sure somebody does. But you're just going to Texas rig it. You just get the end of your worm, pull it up to where it bends there, goes into the weight, and then just cinch it back and Texas rig it. And I actually will take that and go all the way through. Let's see, I'm pulling it a little too tight. There we go, it's a little better. And then bring it all the way through and then just skin hook it. So that's weird. That is a really finessey way to, to you know, get a bigger worm down into the weeds down there where the fish are and these work great these work great they really do i haven't used these in years because i've been doing more texas rigging more jig fishing more swim bay fishing but these work great these work great and i would consider this more of a finessey way to show this is a three eighths head you could do it with a quarter or a half whatever depending on how thick the weeds are how deep you want to fish this is a very finessey way to get a bigger bait a bigger worm down into where the bass are hanging out. So I wanted, I knew there was a reason I took those out. But I think after 40 whatever minutes here, <laughs> I only scratched the surface of this. I really did. There's baits and swim baits I know that I did not take out that are that would you guys would consider finesse. You're probably like, Mark, how come you're not mentioning that? How come you're not mentioning that? Because I got overwhelmed when I started to get, when I, I thought this would be, you know, I'll just do that. I'm like, wow, look at all this finessey stuff and things we could talk about. So this is just scratching the surface. <clears throat> so I hope that at least gives you a bit of an idea of where to start. And as I said five times already, if there's a particular bait or technique that you want to, you know, go deeper into, just let me know. Just let me know. This is just a few of the things that I've thrown that I like to throw. I have confidence in. But there's plenty more. As I said, we could do just a video on just drop shotting. We could do a video just on Ned rigging. And I probably will eventually. So if you guys have any requests, keep them coming. That's what made me, made me think of doing this one. So I appreciate those requests from you guys. Now I have all this mess to put back up on the shelf there. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too boring for you after 45 minutes. And uh, you've got a couple ideas of some things to try and some 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 baits to try and some knit, some head, uh, jig heads to try and some soft plastics to try. Because there is just a, a ton of options. There's so many. It makes me want to go out and throw these again. I, I think I'm going to have to get these in the boat next year. Try them again. Sometimes the simplest things you did in the past work better than what everybody's throwing nowadays. But that, my friends, is it. So as I've said a few times here, any questions, let me know. I don't know how many baits here that I showed you all put links to because it might be like a 
<laughs> five page list of links of baits. I'll just throw a few down, like the trick worms and a few things. I'll try and organize it as best I can in the description. But any questions on anything, please, please let me know. And, um, and I think that's it. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you're not, you know, if you're if you're if you're if you fell asleep, I apologize. <laughs> but uh, it's a lot of a lot of information I know to kind of try to digest about finesse fishing because it's a huge topic. So just a ton of baits and. You know, I could, as I said, I could have pulled out another 20 things and it would be a two hour video. So maybe we'll break it up a little bit so it's not so boring. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. So if there's any questions, please let me know. Anything you want to see specifically me do more on, just let me know and I'll do it. Okay. So I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.